Hi Sagittarius, I'll be doing an intuitive six card spread for you for the month of January. I hope you had a lovely new year. Thanks for dropping by, liking, commenting, etc. So we have the Ace of Wands, we have the Seven of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, the Justice card, and the Nine of Wands. Okay, so Ace of Wands, a brand new opportunity that's coming to you, Sagittarius. It could be something you've been wishing for, waiting for, wanting. It could be in the form of money, or it could be a, a result of some sort of legal, legal battle, settlement, etc., Perhaps you're waiting on some sort of results, some sort of legal results that's coming to you. Definitely money, a lot of money, but it's something you've been wishing for with the Seven of Cups here. But the Ace of Wands really is this hand of God. It's a beautiful card. It's a new opportunity. It's something being placed right in your path and you will hear news of it. Wands is news. So there's news of something. Someone will perhaps verbally offer you something or could be... It could be they're offering you a contract, a settlement of some sort, spoken words, some sort of offer that's being made to you. This could indicate the Ace of Wands could indicate Ace of Wands, sorry, could indicate a new job, a new job in the legal system, perhaps a new job at a charity, a new job in in an environment where there's lots of people, where you're working with a lot of people here, collaborating with a lot of people, retail markets businesses, if you've got a lot of clients, publishing, teaching, anything that has a lot of people around there, but it's something that you're really wanting. And I feel as though this could be a good opportunity for you to take with the Ace of Wands. If this is regarding a love situation, I feel as though the Ace of Wands could indicate there's an earth sign around you or a fire sign that's presenting an offer of love to you. And it's really a karmic love that's coming to you, indicated by the Justice card here. It's a love that you've been wishing for here with the Seven of Cups. You've got everything that you've been wanting, hoping, wishing and praying for. And it may very come, may very well come from this Ace of Wands here, as I mentioned, an earth or fire sign. So it's really a calm, it's what you've attracted with a karmic love with the justice card. It's something that you've wanted and been wishing for and manifesting in a way, and it's coming to you definitely in January. And it could be this brand new beginning. It could also indicate that you start to take on more charity work, start to help out a family, friend, or relative who's unwell, and you're looking after them, you're looking after their administration, you're looking after their bills perhaps on their behalf. But moving on, we have the Seven of Cups and that's this beautiful wish card I, t I told you about. This is really you. This is really fate is playing out here and offering you things that line up with what it is that you're wanting to manifest. So I feel as though if it's a relationship, if it's a job, it's coming to you in, 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 good, in a good way, in new opportunities. Because there's a bit of everything here. You'll have a lot of experiences this month. You'll you'll feel enlightened. There's passion here. There's sexuality. There's everything. Everything that you can possibly experience will be confined to this month in January. So it's a strong month for you to start out on. But as I mentioned to you, it could be this relationship you've been hoping, wishing, dreaming for. It could be a job even. If, but I feel as though it's more news regarding some sort of something you've been waiting for perhaps at a result, maybe you submitted work and you, you're waiting for the options, but I feel as though something to do with a, a legal a legal system here, the legal system, authority of some sort, Ma getting married, settlement for a house, disputing a work compensation case, it could be that also. But the next card over, we have the Five of Pentacles, and the Pentacles is money, it's visions coming true in your physical realm, but it could also indicate sickness, poor health, as I mentioned, it could be a relative that's ill and you're taking care of their finances and their legalities, but this could all indicate that you're getting a bit run down and you will be needing help with money. So this could indicate you uh, ask for funds, and if that is the case, I feel as though you will receive funds, perhaps you're waiting you will be applying for a loan, a home loan, a personal loan, or perhaps you're already waiting for the results. And I feel as though you will be approved because you've got a lot of money in your hands here. But this could also indicate that you're getting a bit 
un under the weather. This could indicate an illness of some sort, a sickness, a flu perhaps, that will be coming to you in January. So it's important that you look after yourself. Don't overwhelm yourself. You're doing a lot. You're quite busy this month. So please don't overwhelm yourself. You need to ensure that you are resting properly. This could also indicate you visiting loved ones who are currently in hospital, currently unwell. This could indicate you partaking in charitable events, charity events of, or even working at a homeless shelter, working at a, at a hospital, volunteering at a hospital. And that would be great for you if that's what you're deciding to do. It would be absolutely rewarding. But it is, as I mentioned, it's the, it's the physicality with the Five of Pentacles. So it's something that you will be doing in your physical realm, people that you will be physically helping, whether it's in money, assisting them because they're unwell, Maybe you're a carer, or maybe you're looking to get a job as a carer. Maybe that, maybe that's it. And I feel as though if that's the way you're leaning towards, it would be very beneficial for you in a lot of ways. Not only with money, but it'll be very rewarding. It'll be very karmic for you. But moving on, we have the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. It really is a beautiful card. It's a card of new beginnings. It's a card. It's an Earth sign card. So there's a strong Earth or Fire sign around you. Sagittarius, it could be you, I mean you are a fire sign, it could be you that's coming through, but I feel as though you will be with an with an earth sign perhaps, or a fire sign, so they're definitely coming to you. Love doesn't seem to be overly potent in this reading, I'm not sure if you are dealing with a fire or an earth sign, but they're definitely still around you, and you may be offering, uh, offering help to them in some way. And they will be with you. I, f I feel you'll be visiting a lot of places with your partner, with your family, perhaps reunions, visiting markets, shopping centers, perhaps overseas. There's pets here. So you're spending a lot of time with family and loved ones. And that's always nice. I feel it will give you, give you that balance that you so desperately need, especially after all the big holidays, Christmases and New Year's, etc. And a lot of people are still on holidays in early Jan. But there's money coming to you. There's a lot of money that you will put towards something. You could be starting your own charity. It could be a creative pursuit you have, perhaps. It could also be an inheritance of some kind with the Ten of Pentacles. This is you perhaps discussing it over with your family. You could be winning a lot of money. in your... But I feel it's more to do with legalities here. So it could be the form of a settlement, a will even. Money that's legalized, money that's protected. And you will be doing protecting as well with the Nine of Wands here. So as I mentioned, if this is love related, it could indicate that you will be starting a new relationship with a fire sign or an earth sign. And I feel as though they have a lot of family around them. They could very well work in the legal system. They could be uh, a judge, a lawyer, an advocate, working litigation, conveyancing, policing. So this person, they'll have a big family. And perhaps they, they could be unwell around this time. If you're already in an existing relationship with this person, perhaps they might get a little overwhelmed and unwell this time, around this time. So make sure you're looking after them, you know, if you live together or you see them quite often. There could also be uh, some sort of conflict within this, with, with you and this person, perhaps regarding their family. It could be at a family reunion, something that the in-laws might say, or an in-law brother or sister, etc. Something that will say, that will, that will cause you to sort of find the need to defend yourself, defend your honour, defend your integrity here. But moving on, we have the Justice card, and again, that's this legality I was telling you about. Uh, you need to be extra careful because there could potentially be some sort of accident here where someone comes out badly hurt and with the justice card as well and you may get in trouble from the law and perhaps physically hurt someone so I would advise you drive very carefully if you're a driver or even if you're not and you're just walking on the road. Um, there's some sort of, this is someone that's unwell, there's hospitals here, there's police in here so just... Be very mindful, be very careful. And there's a lot of people here also that are that will be affected in some way. 
So um, I would just advise as a cautionary measure, please be extra careful on the road this month. Because we do have a lot of people that are not 100% well here in these cards. But also with the Justice card, this could indicate the settlement I mentioned to you that's coming. Fairness, equality, a new contract in a work situation, a new contract in work being offered to you. And it will be very rewarding. It will be the salary you're wanting for with the Ten of Pentacles. Also, it could be this partner that works in the legal system. It could be you that gets a job in the legal system. And the courts, administration, things like that. Moving on, we have the Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Wands is this card of you defending your honour, defending yourself here. It could have something to do with uh, a law court. Maybe you have a court case and you're defending yourself. Someone is defending you. Maybe you've injured someone. Maybe you've been injured. But there's money in the form of compensation coming to you for some reason here. And only you will know, Sagittarius. But also with the Nine of Wands, this could be in a relationship here. This could be a fire or an earth sign where you exchange a few words with each other for fairness. You're fighting for fairness, for equality for some reason. This could also indicate a bit of gossip around you at work. Perhaps this matter, please keep it disclosed because perhaps this matter will spread into your workplace and you'll have to defend yourself because gossip travels very quickly and there's a lot of people around you. There's an intricate network of people in your workplace and in your personal life. So whatever this matter is, whether you're unwell, you've got something going on, you have a bit of dis, you know, disharmony in your body or your personal life, you've got some legal court battles going on, divorce, settlements, etc. Don't tell anyone about them. Keep them to you. Whatever you want to manifest in an outcome will come through for you, but you need to keep it to you because, as I said, there's a lot of people around you here because here you are, you're battered and bruised, but you're also sort of defending yourself, defending your honor, protecting protecting your your integrity here. So be careful of, of what you say and to who because people get can get involved very, very quickly. But I just want to see what this... Uh, legal outcome will be for you. I feel as though it will be a positive one. There's money here, but I'll, I just want to see what else it will bring you. This legality here with the justice card. If you are waiting on some sort of answer from the government, a creditor, a legal, uh, legal corporation of some sort, what will it bring you? So it will bring you purity. And that's a beautiful card. The Priestess of Purity has it dates October 28th to November 2nd. These dates might resonate regarding this law, court or case for you. With the purity, here we have... I feel as though there's innocence here. You're justified. You're fighting for the truth. You're fighting for a good cause. You're settling for a good cause. To help people, to help yourself, to help your family. And you have the Priestess of Purity here. So this reminds us that this situation, this person that's helping you in these legalities is pure. Is pure in heart, has your best interest in heart, will help you. So it could be this partner that's coming in that works in the legal system. It could be you, but there's purity around this person. <clears throat> there's innocence. This person is genuine, if you believe otherwise. And you're genuine if you're getting involved in the court cases. If this is something you've perhaps done or will do. You're innocent in this. I feel there's purity around you and this person that may represent you in this settlement. Also, it could be a divorce settlement. There's purity here, so you will gain money. You will gain a lot of things out of this legality. But we'll have a look and see what this Ace of Wands is, this new opportunity that's coming for you, whether it's in love or work or and what it will bring you. So we have the Priestess of Love. So it's bringing you love. So definitely love is coming in for you. It's a big thing. Love with this person, with a fire sign or an earth sign is coming through quite strongly. Beautiful card. One of my favorites of this Oracle deck here. It really signifies a fated union. This union is meant to be and it's coming for you in January in a very, very big way. You two will complement each other. As I said, it's karmic love. It's whatever you've been manifesting with your wishes, your hopes, your visions, your affirmations. And that's certainly coming for you in January. <clears throat> and you could potentially meet this person at a party, at an event, at a reunion of some sort. That love, it's the real deal and it's coming for you in January if it's not already there. If it's there and you already do have a partner, love will be a really big thing for the both of you. A really beautiful, passionate, intimate union.